What's up guys, the Bitcoin guy here. I'm going to show you guys a couple of my uh, favorite and least favorite operating systems for mining. I have gone through several. Um, I think I'm at four or five right now, but I'm going to show you four of my favorite operating systems specifically for uh, mining different cryptocurrencies with GPU mining, not necessarily ASIC. So here we go. The first one that I tried out, <coughs> that I tried mining with was uh, Windows, of course, Windows 10. Um, this is what a lot of people have on, your, on their laptops or sometimes their desktops for mining. I used this for mining with NiceHash. Now NiceHash, as you may have seen in one of my other videos or in just some of the, the news um, that came out a little bit ago, that NiceHash was hacked. Unfortunately, I don't think NiceHash is going to be back up anytime soon. So that's kind of out of the picture. That was really the key player for Windows mining. Uh, I used my rig. I, I mined with my rig on Windows 10 with NiceHash, and it was generating a good amount. It was uh, making about, let's see, about 15 bucks a day, right around there with my four 1080 Ti's, um, which I am making more now mining a different cryptocurrency on another operating system, which I'll get to in a second. So there are a few other uh, options for mining on Windows, a few other software uh, softwares available. However, I don't necessarily recommend mining on Windows anymore as it's not as profitable. If you don't want to switch operating systems, you just want to mine on your laptop or something, uh, check out my other video. I'll see if I can put a description in, the, or a link in the description below that you can see how to mine with another software on Windows. The next software that I tried was Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, however you want to say it. I tried Ubuntu 14.04, the LTS, the long-term service. Uh, and I also tried 16.04. I am not a fan so much of mining on Ubuntu just because I think it does take a lot more setup uh, and a lot more uh, installing drivers and software. It just takes it just takes a while to mine on Ubuntu. <clears throat> I should have mentioned a second ago, the reason that I decided to switch from uh, Windows to some form of Linux was initially not... It, I actually switched before NiceHash got hacked uh, just because my Windows machine kept shutting down in the middle of the day. I don't know why. I wonder if it was having problems with the drivers, but I couldn't figure it out. I tried so many different things, um, but they eventually switched over to uh, different versions of Linux. So I don't necessarily recommend Ubuntu. I just, I'm letting you know that I tried different kinds of software with it. I tried uh, Claymores specifically. I don't necessarily recommend it. Next up, <clears throat> probably my second favorite software for mining is the Simple Mining OS. This is a pretty great uh, <clears throat> operating system, excuse me, I'm getting a little sick here. This is a pretty great operating system for mining. Uh, I actually use it on one of my smaller rigs with an AMD card in it and it mines Ethereum. Uh, you can of course set it up however you want, but it is very much plug and play. Unfortunately, you can't really access anything else within the operating system. Uh, as far as I know, you, you can't uh, remote into it, I don't believe. It's all, basically you just plug it in, you plug it into your ethernet connection or whatever, and you, you just, uh, when you install it, you have to install it with your email address so that it can know, so that you can log in on Simple Mining's website <clears throat> uh, into your account. And that way you are able to mine to whatever, uh, whatever, I guess, cryptocurrency you have set up for it to mine. So Simple Mining OS is a very much plug and play. It's very easy to use. They do charge $2 a month. However, I haven't seen that they actually hold you to that. They haven't discontinued any of my rigs and I think I'm a little bit over right now that I haven't paid for a little bit. But uh, so Simple Mining OS is definitely one of my top two. And my number one suggestion is ETH OS. Now this operating system does not come free. This operating system is, if I remember correctly, 40 bucks. Uh, for a one-time purchase. They do ask that you pay per rig that you set it up on. However, they don't necessarily hold you to that, and there's no way as far as I can tell that they can check that. Uh, so as soon as you buy it once, you can uh, you know, make copies, I guess, if, if you were to do that. I'm not necessarily endorsing that. 
um, or suggesting that any of you do that workaround or, or steal it in any way, but uh, you, you are supposed to pay for each copy that you use. Now, ethos does require a little bit of setting up, but it is very stable. My version of ethos that I'm currently running on my rig right now is mining Zcash on slush pool. Uh, it's making me, since Zcash is going up in value, it's making me between, between 25 and about 35 bucks a day, depending on the day. Um, and this is the same exact rig that I told you at the beginning of the video about, uh, that I was mining on Windows 10 with, which I was previously making about 15 bucks a day. So part of it is the efficiency. Part of it is the fact that it doesn't restart, uh, or shut down automatically by itself once in a while. Um, or freeze, I guess I should say, and it, it really is pretty efficient as well. Um, ethos, I'll, I'll make a couple of videos coming up pretty soon about how to set it up if you'd like to know how to set it up. It does take a little bit of command line experience, uh, but it, once you get it set up, it's very efficient and very effective at its job. I had mine set up for, I think it was running uh, about a month and a half before I had any issue with it. I had not restarted it at all. I don't necessarily recommend running it for that long without restarting it, but I just wanted to see how long it would go. And so I'd say ethos is my number one pick for operating system for mining. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd, happy, I'd be happy to get back to you. Smash that like button and uh, make sure you subscribe for future videos about how to set up my, I'll show you how I set up my mining rig and how to set up your mining rigs or laptops on other operating systems or different softwares. Thanks you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video.